In this lesson, we will cover the concepts of appreciation and depreciation and how to calculate them. Appreciation refers to an increase in value. Appreciation is expressed as a percentage increase in value over a period of time. The formula for appreciation is the following. Value of the property times 1 plus the amount of appreciation expressed as a decimal. Since the value of the property is increasing in value, we must add 1 to the amount of appreciation. For example, if a property appreciated 3% in the past year, how much would the property be worth today if it was valued at $100,000 a year ago? Let's apply the formula for appreciation to find the answer. The property was worth $100,000 and increased 3% in value. First, we convert 3% to a decimal, which equals 0.03. Next, we add 1 to get 1.03. Finally, we multiply 1.03 by $100,000 to get $103,000. This means the property appreciated $3,000 in one year. But what if we want to calculate the appreciated value over several years, rather than just one year? To find this, we must use the following steps. First, convert the amount of appreciation to a decimal. It's important to note that the rate of appreciation must be constant when using this formula. Second, add 1. Third, raise 1 plus the percentage of appreciation to the number of years the appreciation occurs. Lastly, multiply the raised number by the original value of the property. Let's go through an example to see how this works. A property is valued at $240,000. The homeowner expects the property to appreciate at 2.5% over each of the next four years. What is the value of the property after four years? First, we convert 2.5% to a decimal. This equals 0.025. Second, add 1. This equals 1.025. Third, raise 1.025 to the fourth power. This gets us 1.1038. Finally, we multiply 1.1038 by $240,000 to get $264,912. This means the property appreciated $24,912 in value over four years. Another way to solve an appreciation problem is to multiply the amount of appreciation each year by the value of the property from the previous year. For example, a property is currently worth $320,000. After one year, the property will appreciate 2%, followed by 3% in the next year, followed by 1.5% in the third year. What is the value of the property after year three? To solve this problem, we must convert the first year's appreciation of 2% to a decimal and add one. This equals 1.02. Then, we multiply the value of the property by 1.02, which gives us $326,400. This is the value after year 1. Next, we multiply $326,400 by the amount of appreciation in year 2. This equals $326,400 times 1.03, since there is a 3% rate of appreciation which gives us a value of $336,192. This is the value of the property after year two. Finally, we multiply $336,192 by 1.015, or a 1.5% rate of appreciation, to get a value of $341,234.88 after year three. Now that we covered appreciation, let's move on to depreciation. Depreciation is the loss in value over time, which is also expressed as a percentage of value. 
The formula for depreciation equals the following. Value of the property times one minus rate of depreciation. Let's go through an example to see how this formula works. Let's assume a property is currently worth $280,000. How much will the property be worth after one year if it depreciates by 4%? The first step we need to do is subtract 4% from 1. This equals 1 minus 0 0.04 or 0 0.96. The second step is to multiply 0 0.96 by the current value which equals $268,800. This means the property lost $11,200 in value in one year. If the rate of depreciation is constant over a period of time, we can take the following steps to find the total loss in value. First, subtract the rate of depreciation, expressed as a decimal, from one. Second, raise that number to the number of years of depreciation. Finally, multiply by the starting value of the property. Let's go through a scenario to see how this works. We'll assume a property is worth $160,000. The property will depreciate by 3.5% over each of the next five years. What is the value of the property after five years? The first step is to subtract 3.5% from 1, which equals 0 0.965. Next, we raise 0 0.965 to the fifth power. This equals 0 0.8368. Finally, we multiply this number by the original value of the property. $160,000 times 0 0.8368 equals $133,888. Just like we learned with appreciation, you can calculate the rate of depreciation each year to arrive at the final value. For example, a property is worth $590,000. The property will depreciate 3.5% in year 1, 2.5% in year 2, and 1.8% in year 3. What is the value of the property after three years? First, we'll determine the value of the property after year one. This equals one minus 3.5% or 0 0.965 multiplied by $590,000, which gives us a value of $569,350. Next, we take this value and multiply it by 1 minus 2.5%, or 0 0.975. $569,350 times 0 0.975 equals $555,116.25. This is the value of the property after two years. The last step is to multiply $555,116.25 by 1 minus 1.8%, or 0 0.982. $555,116.25 times 0 0.982 equals $544,124.16. This is the value after three years. In the real world, properties appreciate and depreciate in value all the time. One year, the value may go up, followed by several years of depreciation. It all depends on the market conditions surrounding the property. Let's take the concept of appreciation and depreciation one step forward and calculate the final value of a property that appreciates and depreciates over time. We'll assume the property is currently worth $640,000. The property will appreciate by 2% in year one, followed by 3% of depreciation in year two, and 4% of appreciation in year three. What is the value of the property after three years? We'll solve this problem by taking it one year at a time. Since the property will increase in value in year one, we must add one to 2%, and multiply by the value of the property. 
This equals 1.02 times $640,000 or $652,800. The value in year two will decrease, which means we must multiply the year one value of $652,800 by one minus 3%. This equals $652,800 times 0 0.97 or $633,216. Finally, in year three, the property will increase in value by 4%. This means we multiply the year two value of $633,216 by one plus 4%. This gives us a year three value of $633,216 times 1.04, or $658,544.64. These are the various ways to calculate appreciation and depreciation.